about scammers. Okay, so yeah, the truth about scammers, and today I'm just going to talk about the truth about scammers part one. So yeah, and today I will be just probably just gonna share with you guys some tips that uh, like that you can avoid scamming and all of the inf so yeah. You, you just better watch out, you can just look at the whole part. Best tips, like, you know, all of these. I'll be showing you guys some scammers information, and yes, today I'll be showing you guys. So, yeah, and I'll be talking about these. And yes, today there's like only a few donations. You see, look at where I am at the game called Please Donate. So, yeah, I post a lot of Please Donate videos about two. I, I guess so far I have right now and yes so I'll be just first introducing you guys the games that there's a lot of scammers so the first game here which is the top popular one in in literally how the whole Roblox is adopt me if you guys know there's like a lot of a lot of players in playing adopt me and last time players also play adopt me so and yes i got scammed before in adopt me so i did not play so yeah if you have not played adopt me before or you got scammed scam last time there are some tips that about the scammers what are they going to do to take a move to scam you so the first tip about the the scamming informations which are scammers do you know that do you know they like those scammers like those scammers has definitely low prices or there's 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 less of them are rich prices so yeah the rich prices are well, like the, the those, those expensive one like this you can idc i don't care and you can like examine those things and after that when you go to like the cute teddy bear head and you saw like of six, 60 robux and the robot screen is definitely off sale right now it's from it's by roblox and yes hero landing rebels tommy bear suit is for 65 roblox and yes these you can call them as rich okay you can call them as rich like this puck look at that captain varies for 90 robux and look at his bear suit the r6 body type doesn't support this item bundle combos with this suit so you can just like use all this this these uh, these these types when they are scammers make sure that they are they are they have you have to like this report thing when you want to get like you have a very hard verification make sure that it's on the report this thing over here report and then you put, choose a name you if you see what you're gonna do, you put offside lanes, personal questions, cheating and exploiting, dating, scamming, bullying. But now it's here, it's like scamming. So you put on scamming, and then you're like just not going to do anything first. Then you're going to offline. So when you open it, you go to report, and then you can just go straight away. Like you know, when you open the report button on the people, when you escape it, it still goes to people. But when you go like, okay, you see a. Uh, now I'm gonna go to donate please and then if I offline it goes to report it goes to the in the line but you know why uh, the players area is in the line so if I go report I go to donate I go to bullying um, no 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 scamming and I escape I put it back report and you can like see the, the guy's name when you are fast enough when you are scamming like three and then you just press and then you quickly press this one and then when you go to report and then you put on like someone's name and then after that it will just appear here it will be still here okay it will be still here at report so this is why i really love the rip the roblox um report terminate terms and supply i i don't i don't know they just want to report that they're just really high quality and they are really really good and efficiency for nopes we have really good items these are really helpful too if yeah so scammers you see just 100 i don't care uh yeah so yeah something like that i'm about to get scam i don't know um, oh those these are like really common so the first the, there's like a lot of um term and supply and those scammers so yeah so the next one is like those um 
scamming part. So when you get scammed, you will, he'll probably leave because he don't want you to report. But when you escape here, you press report, you go to like any name of his, and you press on him, you press bullying, and you put some like any words and say he's a bully, he's, he's, and then you just put something like that, and then you escape. You put it, you go to the port, he's still there, it's still there. So that's like the 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 main conversations of scammers. And the second scammers before you have to make sure that is that trading things in any game are really not good. And except for like some games that they're trading, you have to put one thing at least and put one thing to trade into others. That's a really, really good thing. But not really poor. It's not a fair trade thing. It's not. If you give and then you have verifications, all these stuff, and then you have to take like a screenshot of this. Or, I, don't, I don't really think so, okay? And then you go, okay, oh, it's something to give. And then after that, you give, 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 give. And then after that, you got scammed. So, yeah. Uh... It's just really bad, anyways. So, yeah, I, I personally hate it because, you know, when there are, like, a lot of, like, you know, I don't really know why um, scammers really want to scam. And, like, anyone can be a scammer, literally. Everyone can be any sca types of scammers. So, I'll put into a part. So, the first scammer means scammers which use can you donate me please and they are just trying to attract you into a trap and then when you're when you're near a trap you give things and then they'll give you something better okay so you might be thinking before you okay it means like you know when you get scammed you cannot even like have patience to even oh so yeah if there's anyone giving you do you possibly think that he's going to give you if you're a guy and would you really think you're gonna give him this is the first question where you're asking before scamming ask yourself are you ready to get scammed or are you really really want that thing so if you really really want a thing and you think it's a fair trade then you go ahead and the first thing you guys want to go before getting them this thing is really important because you can't get patience so this is like a really really hard thing because when you like you can't be at patience that like you know you can you cannot stand the chance you know the chance to even get this get to like get the item of like i i don't know any item but yeah you know uh, um yeah so the scammer is quite often be being scammed you see when you will when you was get scammed the item is must be available absolutely valuable then the item you're gonna trade is really high because you see you want something high you need to give something which is a medium good and you guys can think how good is that thing like you guys know how good is that thing okay so yeah back to speaking so how is the thing it must have been his one has no, don't they have to use something attractive and then you need to they'll attract you so attracting here you have no idea okay you have no idea so yeah when you're like getting scammed you know the first thing they'll attract you is something that based on the game is better than almost everything that's the first thing that they're gonna type to attract it so Okay, like adopt me, okay? Or sometimes, this is called the efficient, the, the thing pet, um, like, item first, item scam. So, like, you know, so, um, item scam. So, the item scams are, like, really, 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 re very, very common to, like, even see. And there's not only this item scam. The means item means you are like having the item, and then you know you ca you cannot like you cannot do anything because he you you are just stuck in the valley and you can't think where should you go, where should you donate, and then 
yeah, so, okay, so, yeah, I just don't have any why, well, not when you use a bag to experience, okay, anyways, so, yes, when you guys want to, like, when they, you did feel like that guy is scamming, you can literally feel how are they scamming, because the way they're acting is really, really weird, so this is called the item scams true, so item scam too that means true it means you already know what they're gonna scam but you just can't control it that's the problem what you're stuck at it's really really stuck you got you know what i meant right stuck so yeah stuck that's a really really bad habit if you like scamming people please stop a bit because you don't want to get scammed also when you got older so yeah you better just watch out and the next thing is the next thing is when you like you want to get item scam sometimes they'll say like at adopt me they'll just say like i have a unicorn i'm not gonna show you it first you're gonna trade and yes, he'll say, give me all your items at trade first, and he'll trade for nothing. Later, I'll trade you. You already can feel it. Why trading is like this? Instead of using the real trades in this, or like in place on I'm playing now. If you double your robux, you really want the robux. So look at the type of robux he got there. And do you really think he has a robux? And would you think he'll give away how much money to you instead of earning it by yourself from others with a little, little, little? That's a good idea. And you don't want to risk it, right? So risking it at you know what's going to happen by scamming, do not fall for their traps. That's the most important thing. When you're gonna get like focus on those things and then you know uh, oh my goodness okay so anyway i don't really personally like it when you get scam or anything like that so personally i really love this item stacking because you know they are really hard for you to even get scammed because you know they're really hard to get the item and the first scam is you have to avoid is like item stacks and you know scammers they usually use the best scams of all in my in this video to literally just you know use them to even like try to paste into it yeah they would just copy my scams of all of my ideas for scammers and yeah maybe they'll find through an, another quite of like idea so that they can co co just you can you can get the point right so yeah you better not just like risk all your robots like that that easily and then yeah so it's just really wasteful when you're like kind of just uh wasting them so yeah get back to the point and the next one is called efficiency that means you're not show you what item they got but they're just saying it these are for starter scammers when you guys see this that means they are starters there's no way they are really pro like this you won't use this trash scam but this scam is also really powerful but not as powerful as the last one i said earlier so yeah the f this scam it is really really common because when you start the game you'll probably get the first scam of all which is this and you don't want to follow it it either like the last scam i mean like this one it will ask you for more things. When you ask for more things, I mean like, you know, when they're first, like, when they have the pet first, you want to get scammed. So usually, when you see these scammers, like, asking for things, and I'll give you that in return. Return later. And you give him it for the trade, trade button. A GUI, a GUI for trades. And you give him the item for, and he gives you nothing. That's the trick. And that's it. You accept, he accept, then he got the thing. Maybe powerful, I don't know. So it depends on his choice and your choice. So you don't want to fall for it. So first, you're going to give him a small item for testing. And yeah, you're going to give him the most useless thing in the game which you got already. Or the most useless thing that you don't want already. You can just give him like... 
no matter what, just give him the lowest price of he got already, and then he'll ask for more. When he asks for more, definitely go report him. And by scamming, you see, go here, go scam, and reported you, you're gonna set scam. If he says he did not scam, every scammer like this says I did not scam. I'm, I, I promise, pinky promise, you report him because would you, if you don't believe me, would you rather believe the scammer like this asking really, really weird questions, or would you believe me that he is going to scam you? You better think properly before you get scammed. So yeah, this is the point. When you got scammed on this item scammer or this message scammer through, that means you don't really know how you're gonna scam. So yeah, better think what type of thing. So yeah. So the third tip is really, really, really cool. I'm just going to give you a tip, okay? The third tip is going to be in the next video. So, make sure you guys look at the next video and I'll keep you guys updating. So, bye! See you guys in the next one. Bye!